Okay, uh, now we have Hoodwink. I play Hoodwink uh, strictly as uh, post 4 and support. Uh, what I've seen him play is actually a lot of the uh, spots, but I would say if you don't want to play him as post 4, which I think, which, like, what I think fits, fits him the most, uh, then I would say like maybe mid option is the second best. But um, trying to play Hoodwink as like an off laner or something, I think is pretty terrible what i've seen that people uh, sometimes do so uh for me it would be definitely like post four support uh the, the build of course is kind of uh, it's kind of weird and funny it's not really something that just that you would like maybe expect as a support build but like with scepter and ult and, and the whole uh varieties of spells that they have already built in uh you can kind of re realize uh that you can kind of make something with items that's not strictly supportish, but you can support a lot with your spells, uh, like in that way. So, a pretty interesting hero. Uh, let's start with the build. Uh, with the boots, you can do pretty much whatever you want. Uh, I, it just depends. It, it can be power threads, it can be arcane boots, it can be tranquil boots, whatever you feel you need, really. Like, there is no. Like, yeah, like a limit, it has to be this, this, or that. Uh, if the lane is kind of tough, track your boots, of course. If you're spamming a lot of spells, so you, you, you feel you can get a kill on the lane. If you spam a lot of spells, arcane boots might be the, the better option then. Uh, there's, of course, an option of just uh, getting Etherlands into Octarine Core. Etherlands for all of your spells. Uh, it's a nice cast range increase. Octarine Core reduces the cooldown and everything. Let's say if you go for Scepter, you have Shard. There's pretty much like six spells uh, that you'll be casting uh, that get a nice uh, cooldown reduction. So there's also an option to just getting uh, Etherlands inst instead of any of this in Total and Core. But um, it just depends, I guess, if I, if I need it that much. Uh, if I'm fine in the fights, I, I usually skip the, the Etherlands. So, I mean, the, the range where I get killed or not killed. If that's fine, I usually just skip the, the Etherlands. If I can move around and not die. So, after boots, pretty much, if you want to rush for something like, like four staff, helps a lot uh, with your team, yourself. Uh, I feel like almost always it's nice to get uh, Agony Scepter. Gives you the boomerang ability. It's a way it works on everybody. It's uh, like the cooldown is pretty decent, so it's also a slow effect. It kind of goes with the whole team, right? You you can do the acorn shot or even without this trap them like ne next to the tree immediately. When they start getting out, you hit them with the boomerang. You can also send in decoy with the shard. Shard is also completely fine getting at any point of the game. Hey, you you're playing boss four. You know, you're not really farming items, right? Your cores are... You gotta leave your farm to the cores. So getting just this is completely fine. Uh, or getting, getting like, Scepter after this. Uh, making a something as Gleipnir is also an amazing item. I would maybe try making it as a third. Maybe you can put it in as a second, but, like, divide. Just not, not go, like, to the full extent. But you would not go, uh, in this case as you're playing support, you would not go for Maelstrom first. You would go for the Rod of Aethas first, right? Because that, that's like a really nice uh, tool uh, and you're playing support again. It's not about damage, it's not about you farming, it's about trying to do something for the team as well, right? So, Gleipnir, I, I feel like, uh, of course, you, you, you're you not going to get Mjolnir, you're not playing core. Gleipnir is pretty nice I guess in this case, it's really nice with, with all of the, the spells that you have already, right? You can trap them with this first, or you can trap them with this first. These into Gleipnir, into Boomerang. You already have a pretty, pretty nice way of uh, keeping the whole... Uh, a whole bunch of enemies, like, together condensed. Not let them leave while, while dealing damage. You can just choose any of them and kill them off with ult. Ult is a huge damage, even stronger than Sniper's ult. Uh, it's also slow, so even if you miss, they're gonna get slowed a lot. So, yeah, you can see how the hero starts building the whole team of uh, just AOEing and trapping everybody. Uh, one other item that you can get, which is pre also pretty nice, is Lotus Orb. Again, this item really depends if there's some heavy targeting spells. 
uh, maybe there's something somebody like lion like shadow shaman like ogre magi pretty great uh, to have this then cast it on anybody uh glimmer cape is also an option uh kind of like if you want let's say you have four step you have glimmer cape playing just like that with boots uh, you can save a lot of people, push them out, push them in, save them with the spell damage, with invisibility, while casting all of this. Uh, completely fine to uh, fine to get. Again, depends on the enemy team. Uh, but yeah, this would be something probably like like my build. What, what would look like if 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 it's like a huge problem of you surviving? If they had have, have like maybe there's a lot of blinks or like a, one target will blink but can easily kill you off uh maybe there's somebody like uh who's like that like ursa maybe there's like ursa right this is really nice to have although you can get away with four step anyway but right you can survive that big impact if you get bashed because ursa likes to make bash for example if you get bashed locked the this is gonna break you so you can push away run away with scary it just depends and now some other items later on i would say much later on that you can get is uh Tyrion Blade, uh, Kaya effect goes great with all of this, uh, with, uh, with the Glyper effect, so Ethereal is also really nice to get, it can really really uh, cause trouble for any enemy right clicker, uh, if they try to like rush you fast you can like, uh, let's say there's, there's like a more phys physically oriented mid and they carry right? Uh, let's say their, their mid is whatever, like uh, maybe sniper or draw range or whatever, and uh, carry is your usual right, right clicker. Like you can immediately disable one and try to catch the other with these spells. So you can kind of disable their mid and carry at the same time if you're fast enough and you can move around uh, well enough. Now they might have Manta, right? As always, but at least you would proc it, like cause them to cast it. And if you have this. After all of that, then even Manta won't save them, right? Because you just ray trap them again, ult them, boomerang them, whatever you want. Uh, so yeah, if it's not needed, you can just forget about Lotus Orb, uh, try to get Ethereal. Uh, again, this is completely also optional. Uh, I just put in Daedalus there, maybe, maybe like as the la very, very last one. It's it's not a support item, it's, it's a core item. Uh, that's how, how the core hoodwink would play, like a mid hoodwink. I just keep it because uh, there, there's acorn shot and there's uh, level 25 uh, to acorn shot charges. Maybe you get some like some bounce, uh, bouncy procs on this, but that's like very, very late. And uh, I don't know, I just put it there. I wouldn't waste my money on this though. But yeah, when you can get all of this and like really play the role of keeping everybody disabled in place. Uh, there's already three cores, right? Do you need to like try and become the fourth one? Uh, yeah, maybe just maybe just leave it out completely. So something like this, and then just shuffle. I would say like this, like this. Shard is a pretty crazy one. People still still keep getting uh, baited by the shard. It's actually crazy. They, they just see Hoodwink running, and they immediately attack it. So <laughs> shard is also a great value. Shard is also great. Uh, for example, let's say. Like, you said in the decoy, right? Uh, they don't want to kill it, but maybe there's that one guy, maybe there's like Tides, or maybe Earthshaker, and they just want to jump in and do like a huge AoE. Uh, they're going to unintentionally kill the Illusion then. Or maybe Draw was doing uh, multi-shot. Or maybe like uh, Lena was doing the, the Dragon spell, whatever it's called. It can just like unintentionally kill it and uh, trap, trap them. So, yeah, I play them like this exactly like this there was so much stuff to cast opening with acorn shot trapping them with bushwhack uh i see them getting out i either catch them again with gleipnir see them getting out of gleipnir i hit them with the boomerang send my decoy try to hold somebody and yeah as you can see like even playing hoodwink like this it's a lot of work let's say you have this uh, it's a lot of money also, but let's say you have this, it's it's a lot of work uh, to do all of this, so. Uh -huh. But a great value, extremely fun. Uh, games can go like over an hour, you won't even get tired. It's It becomes so much fast, uh, much more fun when you get uh, stuff like this. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, sk skip on the dead, ignore Daedalus, that, that's, just, that's just not it. Uh, I would say anything like this. 
uh, stuff like this so right deal with their mid deal with their uh, right clicker if it's something like nasty maybe there's troll maybe there's faceless, faceless void maybe there's ursa maybe there's phantom assassin when she gets out of blacking effect ground curve with glipe near ground curve with bushwhack and this hit her with the boomerang destroy her with all this is the hero that they can just solo people right especially support if you stumble onto any support even with like these items uh doesn't have to be scepter even you can just eliminate support solo right it doesn't even have to be all of the combos because the poor guy is gonna get trapped he can't really deal with you have scurry if you need to run and uh yeah that's pretty much it, it crazy crazy fun if you play as post 4 i would always play play this post 4 okay talent tree uh bushwhack cooldown i would say uh i mean scurry is great but you have two charges it's it's really fine it's not it's not even one it's two charges you should be fine without this just get the bushwhack cooldown if the fight goes longer you can cast uh you can cast it more often level 15 of course acorn shot bounces uh it's in a way like a aoe damage boost right scurry camouflage uh no if you die you die that's it uh you gotta learn how to move around the map around the fight you are ranged and all of your spells are ranged you should be completely fine casting stuff uh if they catch you it's just, that, that's just how it is maybe maybe get yourself an on disc if it's that huge of an issue but I would just get this uh just for the for the it's not about the damage alone it also gives slow so yeah i would just get this uh now level three is pretty much does not help you at all as support that much armor corruption is more if you're playing a core uh maybe there's a what's it called a desolator right but desolator is not a support item so i would say this is core uh this is maybe more supportish. You can fire off this quickly, but it's not that big of a deal. Level 20, you can pick whatever you want, really. I would go for the ult. Uh, and the last one, uh, Acorn Shot Charges, right? More charges, more bounces, equals to more AoE damage, more slow, more effects. Hit them with all of this, and uh, yeah, ju ju just watch the just watch them uh, bait in all of your spells. And it's kind of like like uh, what I was saying earlier, like uh, the gyrocopter. You just nuke people with a bunch of fun stuff. And they can't really move away either. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, the 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 whole uh, scary effect giving you evasion if you're next to the tree is is also I think really really crazy. You're just standing there, it's like having a butterfly effect. Right? That's that's really crazy. So always keep in mind if you're running away, don't panic and try to run like uh, along the tree line. Don't run don't run like this, always trying to like run along the tree line. Even though the path is longer, if they're not spellcasters, you have much more chance to survive by just having the, the evasion on you, right? And just going like this. So uh, train that and uh, that's Woodwink. Uh, I don't think I missed anything big. I said earlier, Etherlands in Octarine Core, that's another option. Uh, this is all pretty much core stuff. This core, this core, I would say. You, you, yeah, you can finish Pike. But um, uh, why do you need Pike, right? This is the same effect. Pike, Pike is more for uh, for core heroes that, that you want to finish. And also core heroes would start with Dragonlance not with four staff anyway so completely fine to just stay on this if you have the extra money but right why waste extra money on finishing the pike when you can start putting into ethereal into other into on disk into load uh load absorb why do you need pike right it doesn't do anything for you really uh the effect is already there and uh yeah that's it i, I guess yeah, I guess mechanism is there. I don't, I don't, I don't really feel feel uh, that great about mechanism though. You can make you can make mechanism, I guess, or something like a, like a holy locket. But in general, I think Woodwing works the best like this, and uh, it's gonna depend on your team pick as well. Sure. Having stuff like this, you're you're almost like yeah, like like your support, but you're almost like a really good core at the same time, right? Yeah. You just nuke so much you can you can survive a lot 
uh, huge, huge damage on ult. So yeah, you always kind of crossing those boundaries, support core, support core, but as I said, you can play both of those roles. It's just pick, uh, pick what you want to be. And uh, that's it guys, and uh, uh, let's go to the other heroes.